People of the Pacific Northwest love salmon. It's a relationship that's lasted thousands of years, and while the times have changed, Northwest treaty tribes always have been, and always will be, connected to salmon. Adult salmon return to the rivers and tributaries of their birth to spawn the next generation. Each of these unique populations is affected by the quality of the habitat, resulting in healthy, unstable, or weak stocks. Non-Indian sport and commercial fisheries travel to wherever the fishing is best. When these fisheries happen in mixed stock areas, there is no way to tell the difference between strong and weak stocks. Tribes are restricted to traditional fishing grounds. Most are located in terminal areas. They can't fish anywhere else. These fisheries are located in bays or near mouths of rivers where salmon runs end. Fishing in terminal areas makes selective harvesting easier because salmon have naturally sorted themselves into weak and strong stocks, allowing fisheries to harvest only the healthy populations. Gill netting allows for efficient harvest. Tribes tightly regulate gill net fisheries by time, location, and mesh size. The net itself covers only a portion of the river, allowing most fish to escape harvest. Mesh size regulations make gill net fisheries even more selective by targeting returning adult salmon that tend to be about the same size. Non-targeted fish that are too big will bump into the net and swim around it. Those that are too small simply swim through the net. Tribal fishing provides food and economic opportunities to many native families and is central to tribal cultures. Seeing a tribal fisherman exercising his or her treaty rights in a terminal area is cause for celebration. It means that salmon stocks are healthy enough to harvest today and still ensure healthy populations for tomorrow.